Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have an Upcrate unboxing. So Upcrate have kindly sent me this box to review and open. So yeah, let's open it. Satisfying tape tab peel. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oops, we have missed a section. This little tab here. I will leave a link to Upcrate's website and social media in the description box below. So if you want to get yourself an Upcrate box, you can just click the link. Ooh, look at this. I love how it's all pirate themed. There is tr magic treasure inside. Lovely. We also have some brushes. Very nice. And here is the bottle post. Now, I follow this artist on Instagram, so I know who it is. I can't pronounce the name though. I don't know why it's not focusing. Here we go. Wow. This is a big improvement from the last zine slash bottle post here. It feels so good. I'm gonna take a deeper look into this later. We've also been given some sheets of paper. We also have some stickers by the artist. This is a little Upcrate mystery box poster, double sided. And if I can get this out. Here is the artwork by the artist themselves. Name Canny, I think it is. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. So that is the co-captain this month. Right, let's have a look at these supplies. So we have some brushes. Oh wow, look at this. Inside we have a sponge. It's a very dry sponge, so this will be interesting. I wonder if it's for textures and stuff. We'll find out. We have some sort of pipette, I think, or for water. Let me just move the like, background so you can see it better. Oh, it's acrylic wash. Lovely, look at these. I love gouache. I've been practicing quite a bit with this as well, this medium in one of my sketchbooks. So we have those. We have a Pilot GTEC C4. Now I've never used this supply before, so this will be interesting. Wow, that is really thin. I don't even think you can see it. Oh, there we go. And then we have a Pentel Orange 0 0.2. Is this a pencil? I'm not sure, but I will read through the zine and obviously have some nice brushes. So they're the supplies. Now we're going to go through the bottle post. All right, so here it is, issue 16. Now the artwork on the front is amazing. Ooh. Look at this, we have different chapters here, tell us um, all about, so chapter one is about the supplies, chapter two, co-captain, adventures, how, how to do things, maybe like a tutorial, chapter three, art hacks, sailor OMT, OTM, sorry, chapter five, former upgrade battle, upgrade battle inspiration, and this month's upgrade battle. Wow, this is amazing. The quality is insane. So we have a list, um, a little bit about the supplies. The materials. So what I will be doing is whilst I'm making a piece of artwork, I will be talking a lot about the supplies and how to use them. 
upgrade just keeps getting better and better. It's really, really good. And here, look, we have the whole selection of different um, shades of acrylic gouache that you can get. That looks like there's a lot of them as well. I presume that's without mixing them. Telling you what to do before use, during use and after use. A little bit about the Pilot Pen. Oh, and it even goes into the history of the Pilot Pen. Wow. There's a lot of information in here. And they're all in different colours as well. The light blue one looks nice. And obviously some more on the Pentel. Pens oh, it's a pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. 0.2, that's very small. And it tells you how to use it as well. This is this is just great because all this information is useful to artists that are probably new to drawing, new to tools, if you've never used them before. It's a Saunders Waterford Hot Press 300 GSM. They are what the sheets of paper that we got right here. It's very professional. Eyedropper. Here it is, round natural sponge. Be nice to read about this. And then this is a little bit about our co-captain. Here she is. Born and raised in California in the Silicon Valley. And all the socials are right there. So they do a little interview as well about up for the artist. So what is your most popular art supply? Why they love drawing? How often they create new work? So yeah, I can really, oh look at that. And they've even included another piece of her artwork. Lovely stuff. I mean, this book alone could be a video in itself. So this must be um, one of her original characters. I love how Upcrate dedicate a lot to the artist that's featured as well. So you get to know a lot more about them. Gosh, this is just beautiful. Here's a, some of her little characters. I love this section. It just shows how a piece all comes together from start to finish. They're just brilliant, aren't they? So this section here is how to use the supplies. So it says here, only use the pen at the end of your paintings. I will be reading a lot of this. Step-by-step -step tutorial here, look. So start from the sketch, add a bit more, some more, and then the finished piece. So some art hacks on how you use the supplies. Then this is from the previous upcrate, I presume. Upcrate number 27. What some people made with the supplies, if you want to have a look. Lovely stuff. Right, so now I think we should get to swatching, testing them out and making something. Right, so I have all my supplies and everything here. Let's just wet the brush. And what we're going to do is swatch the colours. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in a bit here. And let's let's see how they go on this paper. I don't know if there's a right way up or not. So we'll, we'll test that. So we have Oprah, I think that is. Oprah pink. I don't think I'm on the right side. Let me just quickly test the other side. So that's that side, that's that side. I, don't, I can't tell the difference to be fair. <laughs> Looking pretty good so far. Some black. That might make a nice background actually. And I'm going to mix red and blue to get purple. Ooh, that's a dark purple. And yellow to make green. And I can't think of any other colours. <laughs> Maybe a light pink. Okay, let's test the pen. It's a... Whoa! That is really thin. It's a Pilot G-Tech. Ooh, that is really scratchy. 
And then I might do pencil. I'm gonna have to have a look, see how we to activate that. <laughs> right, so this pencil that I've tried to activate here won't activate. <laughs> it won't work. I've followed all the uh, instructions and uh, it's just, it's not working. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you've had trouble with your uh, 0.2 pencil because um, mine's not working. <laughs> Okay. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have an up crate unboxing for you and what I'm going to do is read through the supplies, a little bit about them, let you know how much they're worth. So right, the first thing that was included in this box was nylon brushes. So the nylon brushes are made especially to be used with Turner acrylic wash. These brushes are easily cleaned with water and dry particular quickly as their handles are hollow. So that came in a set of three and obviously as I already mentioned they were used for acrylic wash so that was the next thing that was included and it says you will also find the high quality acrylic wash from Turner to match your brush set. <laughs> With the colours Jet Black, White, Permanent Scarlet, Permanent Yellow, Lemon, Opera Red and Sky Blue in 11mm tubes and another 20mm tube in white, you are equipped with basic colours in which you can mix a lot. To get some other colours, and the acrylic wash can be applied smoothly, dries quickly and sticks to wide to a wide variety of painting surfaces such as wood, cardboard, canvases and paper. So it says a little bit about Turner here, which is the brand. So Turner Colour Works LTD is a Japanese company from Osaka and has been manufacturing paints and painting items for over 70 years. The company attaches particular importance to the luminosity and brightness of its colours in order to appeal to the senses of the artist and viewer. And obviously like I showed in the zine or a bottle post, <laughs> the booklet, um, it shows a lot of different colours and the whole set that you can get which I think is amazing. Also gives some instructions, so before use it says to dilute the paint with water in approximately a ratio of 2 to 1 for uniform finish. For airbrush application, add gloss varnish in the same amount or more to adjust colour tone and enhance ad adhesives. And it says it can be used with any kind of brushes really. And it says to clean your brush and palette before the paint dries. If it dries up, dip the paintbrush in a palette of water for several hours. Or AG cleaner, then clean them with soapy water after the paint softens and after use it dries in like 5 to 15 minutes and becomes water resistant. So yeah, next up included for $3.99 was the Pilot G-Tech C4 pen which I have never used until this video. <laughs> so gel pens are the perfect companion for working on rough paper because they simply glide over it without any issues. Although the ball diameter of this pen is 0.4, which is also reflected in the name C4, the gel pen has a line width of 2mm. The tip is made of stainless steel which makes it particularly stable and does not break away when working. The pen has a cap with a clip so it does not dry out and can be particularly attached to other items. The transparent body gives you an insight into your level your ink level, which of 10 available colours you are currently using. So they, ha they have black, red, blue, green, yellow, orange, brown, violet, pink and light blue. Next up for £9.80 euros, which I think is a lot of money <laughs> for a Pentel mechanical pencil. So with this mechanical pencil you don't have to worry about breaking your lead no matter how fine it is. A small metal tube protects and stabilises it while, while drawing. 
With one click you can draw longer with fine tip, tin comparison to using a standard pencil. The Pentel mechanical pencils are available in four different line widths whereby you will have find the narrowest version in your box. Now unfortunately my pencil didn't work and even following the instructions it just wouldn't come out so I'm not really sure. I could still be doing it wrong but it didn't didn't work for me unfortunately. And next up we have the St Cuthbert's Mill. Um, so this exquisite watercolour paper is made of 100% cotton and is traditionally produced on a cylinder mould machine. Each sheet is powered with calcium carbonate to protect and preserve finished works. The surface of paper has an unmistakable unique texture which is created using natural wool felt and is strengthened with a layer of gelatine. The paper absorbs moisture and is therefore particularly suitable for painting techniques and has even been awarded by the Royal Watercolour Society. And for a pad glued all around, 31 times 41 centimetres, 320 sheets cost 50 euros. Wow, that is a lot of money. <laughs> And the last thing that was included in the box was an eyedropper. So this pipette by Upcrate holds up to one millilitre of water and has a suction tip, the opening of which you hold in clear water to fill the small plastic container. Pipettes are ideal for picking up precise amounts of water for mixing and diluting colours and placing the drops exactly where you need them. And that retails for 20 euros 20 pence oh wait i forgot about the sponge <laughs> the round natural sponge did you know that the natural sponges are found in all oceans so from the caribbean to the arctic ocean the ocean's filters pumps water through their bodies to feed on plankton and other small particles of food because of this they absorb more water than artificial sponges and are easy easier to clean because they're holes <laughs> which are also called pars. Wow, beautiful. And yeah that's what was included in the box. So I drew a female character, just a random drawing of a girl really. Um, the month's battle topic was let's jump into your Adelia's world. Um, so yeah, I kind of just went for it and I really had so much fun using the supplies in this box and I want to say a huge thank you again to Upgrade for sending me this box to review and make a video on. I'd highly recommend checking Upgrade out because you're, you're getting your money's worth and more really in this box. So yeah, I'm going to say that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like comment below what you think it's a much longer video this time um, share with your friends subscribe for more and i will see you next time with another video okay bye